Larry, as you get set up here, there you are. Good to see you. Good to see you, Andy. Um, all right, so we're just talking to Timmy Allen. Times are crazy um, everywhere, and it's gotten really uh, obviously difficult in the state of Utah. Uh, new restrictions coming down. How has that affected coaching and this team right now? Well, I, I mean, it certainly has our attention. You know what uh, uh, the magnitude of decision making right now, and and months ago I told our guys that every everybody they came in contact with, I want you to assume that they have the the virus, you know, and uh, I really feel like our guys have done a terrific job uh, isolating themselves and, and avoiding parties. And, um, you know, we've got a nice little international flair on our team. We've got uh, four guys local on our squad and then a little bit of a blend and enjoy spending time with each other. And they understand that, uh, you know, a decision right now, you always talk about it in your program that, you're, you're, you're playing and it's bigger than you and your decisions are going to have an impact on our program. Uh, but man, is this ever a, a shining example of that? And um, proud of our guys up to this point, knock on wood. So there's going to be a lot of different logistical uh, changes. Uh, coaches are going to have to wear masks. Officials wear masks when they interact with coaches and players. Uh, their whistle will have its own like sort of bubble around it, uh, benches spread out like we saw at the NBA in the NBA bubble, um, benches, um, you know, stat crew on the other side, all these kind of things can happen. And by the way, no fans, or at least unlikely, certainly at the beginning. How is that going to affect the way you coach? You know, it's funny. I was thinking about that last night. I, I'm just going to be so engaged with our team. Uh, we've had some tremendous practices. We, we've, uh, we had a good summer, uh, you know, as good a summer as you can have once our guys got back. And, you know, uh, I've really come to realize that, you know, this is going to pass for you and I and uh, and a lot of us KG old veterans will get through this. But you really feel sympathetic for the kids that are going through it. You know, with this window, I've got my own sons, uh, one in high school, two in college that are affected by it. And when we when we recruit kids and talk to them about treating them as family and treating them as their as our own and man, it really ties this whole thing in together now. So I'm sympathetic toward our guys and having fans is a huge part of college basketball, obviously. And so I think if you take a page out of the NBA, uh, if you watch that bubble, I know the Lakers created an awful lot of magic and energy on their bench, as did the Miami Heat. And there's going to be some teams that don't some teams that need a little bit of this energy from a crowd. And I think it's going to separate uh, the contenders from the pretenders when you step into a gym kind of in a secret scrimmage type setup where there's not a lot of fanfare and see who's ready to, to lace them up and, and compete. And um, I, that's what we're talking about, having a lot of grit and having a lot of maturity. And if you ever need to be connected and vocal as a basketball program, it's right now. And uh, I plan on being a centerpiece of that. And to that point, Larry, um, you guys had some moments last year, notably the win over Kentucky, uh, but there was some inconsistencies. How do you solve that this season? Well, you know, I, I'll, I'll take it first and foremost. You can't go through Pac-12 play without winning a, a, a road game. And uh, I, I find that as a direct reflection on myself and our toughness and our ability to have some grit. We're, we're discussing a book uh about grit at the moment. And uh, so we've got to have an edge about us. We're trying to create that in practice and we've just got to be better. I think, you know, Timmy mentioned it, not that it's an excuse, but uh, he was a sophomore. He was one of the leaders on our team last year. We didn't have any upperclassmen. I thought we maybe thrust some sophomores and even freshmen into leadership roles a little bit earlier than they probably should have been expected to do that. Uh, I need to do a better job. And I know, uh, you know, we've got about 86% of our offense back when you do the math and, uh, and guys have done a nice job in the weight room and they've matured. There's a lot of guys that just aren't freshmen anymore. And that always helps the program. And I'll, I'll start with me at the top, Andy, for sure. And, and I'm going to be a better coach. I'm a much better coach already than I was a year ago, uh, having learned those lessons. And I think our guys are ready to take the next step.